Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Craft Moto. So, this is my first plugin tutorial in three months as I've been away in America. Um, I might make a video on that actually, uh, I've been thinking about that, but I have been uploading pre recorded videos for the last three months and now I am back in the swing of things. So, let's get into this plugin. There is a premium version and a free version. This, of course, is the premium version. And as you can see, it adds all of these cars and vehicles and whatnot to Minecraft. Uh, there should be some expansion packs soon as well, which will add more vehicles. Uh, but while we're here, I will show you how it works. So you can customize your vehicles with various accessories, which is really awesome. So if we do forward slash V shop um, as a command, you can see that in here you can buy all of the vehicles. You can buy accessories such as buoyancy tanks, Desert Eagle. It does hook into crack shot guns, so you can have machine guns on your vehicles as an accessory. Uh, we have a locking module, we have differential engine upgrade, health module, and wings, which is really cool. So if I grab this one, and maybe grab the uh, red one as well, it's very straightforward. You can just pop it down uh, like that, left click to destroy. Um, so if you go up to a vehicle, right click the side, um, it should install the module like that, module installed. Uh, so if I get in this car, which I've been uh, badly, badly driving, and hit go, and then look up, we should be flying, and yes we are, we are very very high. This is a fast car, it's been upgraded quite a lot, uh, which is awesome. And we can drive it about, and hopefully do a good job at parking it. There we go, that was pretty good. Uh, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, here's the speedboat, which probably doesn't work too well on land, but uh, if we did have an ocean nearby, that'd be awesome as well. And if you want to keep your car, you can go up to it, hold shift, and right click um, there we go so that will put it into your garage how do you access your garage you do the garage as a command and as you can see we have all of these vehicles now when you click one it will respawn wherever you left it so I think there should be probably two here um, there you go so they're mostly in the same place we have all three so we can just uh, get rid of them so we don't need all three there we go so we only need one more there so that is how that works, and we have two cars here, so go away one of you, there you go. So that is um, how it works in game, it's really awesome, so hopefully the developer actually adds uh, more more uh, vehicles. There should be an expansion pack coming soon as I mentioned, uh, but there are also commands to spawn them in as well. So there's a couple more things I want to go through, there is the way you spawn vehicles, and if you don't want to right click a vehicle for whatever reason, uh, you can put your car and the accessory into uh, an anvil and as you can see it will spawn with wings so um, that is how you do that if you don't do it the other method um, but if you do want to spawn in vehicles or create a spawner it's, it, it does have quite a complicated command so um, the way to do it is forward slash v spawn and then uh, squiggly bracket vehicle and quotation marks colon and then the name um, finishing with a squiggly bracket and that will work like that and if you want to create a, sp uh, a spawner, you have to do this command, which is uh, very confusing as well. Um, so you can just copy this off the spigot site, that's what I did, instead of typing it out and possibly getting it wrong. Uh, so redstone racer, like that, and make sure it says V spawn. And there we go, so we've created a craft mo moto spawner. And as you can see, uh, we should probably put it up a bit higher so it um, doesn't spawn in the ground. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's how you create a, uh, a spawner, which is really cool. So here we are in the Craft Moto folder, and as you can see, there are a couple of folders and a file. So in here, uh, not too much in here, you can change the display, and you can change the garage capacity to 9, and the page size of the, uh, the shop I showed you. So make sure that's a multiple of 9, and you can also set up a MySQL database if you really want to. Um, so let me close all those tabs, we don't need them open. Uh, so we have all of the vehicles here, and as you can see, um, you can have all of these different upgrades in them. And up here, you don't need to mess around with this, this is the model number, so each model has a different number, and the cost to buy it, so you can obviously change that as well, which would be good. And all of the others are pretty much uh, the same, just with different values. So in the garage, this will have all of the different vehicles, uh, which is a really cool feature that you can save them and add on. So in here, if we go into helmet, um, we can see lots of different things. So you can change the seats, the offset as well, which is really cool. Um, the spawn cost as well. 
we scroll down a bit more, um, we can see various effects. So you might have seen some exhaust effects which uh, coming out the back, which is awesome. And obviously the damage, the speed, and um, the all the multipliers. So when you're in the air, in the water, and on land. So that's awesome that you can do that. And obviously the others, you can change the values. They're slightly different, but it's in the same format as well, uh, which is cool. And if we go to accessories, we have all of these different ones. And in here we have, for example, the engine upgrade and what it shields from. So none of these. And it increases the max acceleration. And then we have the cost up here as well. If we go into some others, uh, you can see the fuel tank down here. It says the fuel type is coal and the burn time and the gas station. And if you want a petrol station, um, you put down some coal blocks and dr obviously drive near it and that will fuel up your vehicle. Uh, same with wings, you can uh, change the uh, all of this and the regen speed as well for the shield. So it's very customizable. Um, it's a pretty new plugin. It's come out um, relatively recently and hopefully it will get even better with lots of new vehicles and other features. So subscribe, like, comment and I'll see you next time.